I'm here in Sequoia National Forest and I'm doing a little two night trip out here kind of as a little shakedown for my Washington trip. And right now I'm hiking the Remington Ridge Trail. I don't need my backpack for this, but since I want to get prepared for the Wonderland Trail, I figured I'd fill it up, put a little weight and get used to it. So there's some hot springs down at the bottom of the trail, which I figured would be a nice reward when I'm done. And I'll be staying at a campsite along the Kern River. Same one I stayed at last time, which I'm so excited about because I came here about a month ago and it was such a beautiful campsite, such a wonderful time. So I'm excited to be back and getting to explore the area a little bit more. Ah, that breeze feels nice. So this plant right here is big sage or mountain sage and it is a native plant to Southern California, actually to a lot of the West Coast and it just smells so good. So I'm heading back down the mountain from my hike. It was a pretty nice hike. The views at the top were really great. It was very steep uphill the whole way up and now it's pretty steep. On the way back down, you don't say. So I just walked down to the hot springs and there are a bunch of people over there. And if you know me by now, I like to be alone. So I tried to find myself a nice little private quiet spot along the river. And I was able to find this nice little closed off section over here and with a beautiful view so I'm really hot and dirty I am so ready to get in this water it's not the hot springs water but it will be really refreshing
camp is all set up and I am here sitting along the Kern River just enjoying the evening. It's starting to cool down but it's still nice and warm. I'll probably take another swim before dinner and I brought some wood this time so I can make a fire. I am ready to see a nice sunset. I'd like to own up to a mistake I made in the hopes that nobody else makes this mistake as well. The last time I went to this campground, I was told by the camp host that I could have a fire, but I didn't have any wood with me. So when I came back this time with wood ready to have a fire, I failed to register all of the signs clearly stating that there is a fire ban. So as I was starting my fire, I became very aware that nobody else at the campground had started a fire themselves, which is kind of strange unless there is a fire ban. So I quickly extinguished my fire with plenty of water till it was cool to the touch. I learned my lesson. Good morning. I've had a pretty nice morning so far. I woke up super early at like 5 15 and decided to walk over to the miracle hot springs and by the time i got there there was already a bunch of people there and the hot springs are also just too hot for me i prefer to go swimming in this river the cold river instead change of plans I decided to just stay by the river all day I thought I would kind of drive along the roads that follow the river and just try to find some places along the side that I could stop and go for a swim I noticed that there's some cows back there which are kind of cool I'm gonna drive down a little further and see if I can get a little closer to them but it is a gorgeous day the water is so nice so refreshing just gotta be really careful in this water because it's pretty dangerous, very swift. A lot of deaths happen here. They recommend wearing a life vest. I try to find these little pockets um, on the side that don't have the strong current that are a little safer to swim. And it's been working for me so far. After going for a swim, the heat was starting to get to me and I wasn't feeling so great so I decided to try to start heading home. What I didn't realize was that while I was stopped to swim they had closed the road ahead of me which meant I would have a four-hour detour to get home. So I decided to head back to my campsite for a second night on the Kern River and I'm really glad I did. I took that as a sign that I needed to spend a little more time out in nature. By the end of the day, things cooled down quite a bit and I was feeling much better. 
reflecting back on the events of the day and trying to see things through a positive lens, I was feeling pretty grateful that the universe had brought me back to this campsite for a second night. I think I needed that extra time to clear my head and just enjoy the nature all around me. So I'm sitting here watching the sunset and I don't know if you could see it on the camera, but there's all these bats just flying around the surface of the water. And I noticed earlier that there's these like swarms of mosquitoes or some kind of bug that just kind of floats on the top of the water. And I think all of the bats are coming out to eat the bugs. So it's really cool to watch. There's probably like 20 bats flying around me right now. It's dinner time and tonight I am having this right rice risotto creamy parmesan style. Um, I haven't tried this yet so I'm excited to see how it is. I'm not allowed to have a fire because there's a fire ban in this area right now. There's an extremely high uh, fire danger warning right now so no fires but camp stoves are, are allowed. And I'm glad I have this Luminade little solar powered lamp over here because it's super bright. This is like the lowest setting right now, or the second lowest setting, but it's solar powered and you can charge your phone from here, which is super neat. But anyway, I'm waiting for my water to boil so I can cook my food and have dinner. It is a lovely evening and still nobody has arrived at the campsites around me but when i booked this it was completely full so that was a bit of a surprise but a pleasant surprise and it looks like my water's boiling <laughs> So overall today was a really nice day. I had a great time just hanging out by the river pretty much all day, just going for swims and, you know, having a good old time by myself. I'm kind of glad that there was a roadblock that turned me around. It's nice when the universe gives you signs like that. That needs to sit for a bit. <sighs> the last time I was here, they didn't have these like little wood tables. It's cool that they added these. They're just tree stumps with a couple of slats of wood on top to make a table. There's also a picnic table, but this is kind of nice. It feels a little bit more, I don't know, rustic. All right, so I've already eaten like half of this and honestly, it's really good. What's great about it is that it's a complete protein. This is made out of lentils, chickpeas, peas, and rice, among with other, among a few other ingredients, but it's really good. And I have two other flavors. I think I'm gonna get a couple more flavors because this is pretty good. But anyway, I'm gonna finish eating this and then, hit the sleeping bag. <laughs> because it's made out of grains and vegetables and I'm not sure how they do it, but it's not rice. It's made out of a few ingredients. What is it? 